Hey guys, it's Nicole, the blogger behind PrairieRootsHomeschool.com and today I'm going to be sharing all of our favorite fall themed picture books with you guys. The first book we have is Goodbye Summer, Hello Autumn. This is a great book for well saying goodbye to summer and hello to the new autumn season. The book contains simple text yet gorgeous illustrations. It covers all the different changes you may see as the fall approaches, such as animals gathering food for winter, the cooler weather, and the leaves changing colors. The next book we have here is Stella Luna, and this is one of my kids' favorite books. They love Stella Luna, and this is a classic book about a baby fruit bat who, when an owl attacks, gets separated from her mother, and she ends up in a bird's nest and gets adopted by a family of birds. and. She kind of grows up having to pretend to be a bird, and she quite struggles with that. But there is a happy ending as she is reunited with her mother at the end. This is a great book for discussing the differences between bats and birds, while also relaying the message that you should really embrace who you are. The next book we have is Autumn by Gerda Mueller, and this is a lovely board book that contains no text, it's just pictures, making this book really great for storytelling. And what's neat is that the story can be different every single time you read this book. This is such a great pick for inspiring creativity and imagination in your little one. And there's one for every single season. The next book we have is Leaf Man, and this is a really unique and neat book. It's beautifully written, but I think the most interesting thing by far is definitely the images. So throughout the book, there's tons of leaves, but these leaves are making up different plants and animals like geese and cows and apple orchards and pumpkins and so much more. And it's really fun to try to find those in the leaves with your children. This is the perfect book to read before doing a leaf craft, such as making your own leaf man. And if you guys want to see what all we did for our trees and leaves unit study last year, I'll be sure to link that video down below in the description box for you guys so you can check it out. Okay, so this next one isn't really about fall, but the scenery does take place in the fall, so I thought I would go ahead and include it. And it is A Tale of Two Beasts. And this is a really great book for showing that there are two sides to every story and introducing the concept of different perspectives. So in this book, a little girl finds uh, a little beast in the forest, which I think is supposed to be a squirrel. Anyway, she takes him home and rescues him. And she gives him clothes and food and takes him to school to show all her friends. And then in the second half of the book, the beast is showing his side to the story. So I really recommend this one. And then we have Bramley Hedge Autumn Story, and you guys, these books are just so charming. We love the mice of Bramley Hedge. And in this Autumn Story, little Primrose is out picking blackberries with her father, and she ends up getting lost. They send out a search party for her, and at the end there is a happy ending as she does make it back home to her family. Next we have How to Make an Apple Pie and See the World. This is the perfect book to go with an apple unit or apple theme. This book is also great for touching on geography as it takes you throughout the world trying to find different ingredients for an apple pie such as sugar, salt, butter, cinnamon, and of course apples. There is even an apple pie recipe at the end of the book. And then we have a pumpkin themed book. So we have Peter Rabbit and the Pumpkin Patch. And this one is just based on the original tales told by Beatrix Potter. And of course, Peter Rabbit and his cousin Benjamin Bunny are getting into some mischief in Mr. McGregor's garden, trying to find some pumpkins. Little do they know, a surprise is waiting for them at home when they make it back. To round out our list, we have Cranberry Thanksgiving. Now, this book isn't about the history of Thanksgiving, but it does send an important message that you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. In this book, Grandmother thinks that Mr. Whiskers is out to steal her famous cranberry bread recipe. But little does she know it's someone that she would least expect. 
There's even a cranberry bread recipe for you to use on the back of the book. All right, you guys, those are all of our favorite fall picture books, and I'd love to know, what are some of your family's favorite fall picture books? Let me know down below in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.